Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who helps you model those battles front end development. In today's video, you will learn how to set up Webpack 2 to import React into your project and how to load all the necessary loaders. But before we dive into that, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to watch all the other Webpack 2 tutorials. There are two ways how to get started with React. The first one is to manually configure your development server, your Webpack, and then include React inside of your project. Or you can use the Create React app, which is a handy tool made by the Facebook developer team, which lets you create a React app very quickly. All you have to do is type in a couple commands inside of your terminal and you are good to go. This is a great way to start quickly learning React, but if you want to learn how to build it from scratch, from an empty folder, build everything up, then you could follow my previous couple videos where we've learned how to set up the Webpack, set up the Webpack dev server. And now in this video, we will continue building on top of that. We will include the React manually. We will skip the create React app and we'll scroll down to the installation React section. And the first thing we'll need to do is to install React and React DOM. We are using NPM and we'll need to install the React and React DOM. So let's go to our terminal, npm install dev react and react dom. Then we'll go back to the installation guide and we need to enable ES6 and JSX. So ES6 is the latest version of JavaScript and JSX is the syntax that we will be writing inside of our React components. And for that, we need to install Babel. Babel is a JavaScript compiler that will take your ES6 and return an output uh, old JavaScript. So you don't have to worry about old browsers compatibility. Okay, so if we go back to our terminal and we will install Babel, Babel preset React and Babel preset ES2015. Now we have to enable these presets inside of .bubblerc file. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code, create a new file, call it .bubblerc. And inside of that file, we will create an empty object and we'll define the presets, which will be an array. And inside of it will be ES2015 and React. Now let's try to copy this hello world snippet and paste it inside of our app.js. So remove the console log, paste the hello world example. The first line we're importing React from React, then React DOM from React DOM. And then we're using the random method to render h1 inside of an element ID root which we need to create inside of the index HTML. So let's delete our paragraph, create an empty div with ID root. This will tell the JavaScript to render our application inside of this root element. Now let's try to run the Webpack server, npm run dev, and see what kind of error we're gonna get. If we go back to the terminal, we'll see that it failed because we need the appropriate loader. Okay, so inside of our Webpack config, we need to define a rule inside of the rules and we need to test for every JavaScript file to use the bubble loader. But before we do that, we need to install it. So let's quit the build, go back to the docs of bubble and see how we can use it with a Webpack. Okay, so let's go set up, find a Webpack, and this is what we need to install. Install a bubble loader and a bubble core. So copy that, we'll go back to our terminal, paste it in, and 
and now we can define the rule inside of the webpack.config file. Okay, comma after the first rule, we will now test for the .js files and we'll tell Webpack to use the bubble loader, which we've just installed. And we will also try to exclude the node underscore modules folder. Okay, so let's try to run it now. The server is loading, opening a new browser window, but it takes quite a, some time. So let's go back to the VS Code and see what we're getting. And we'll see that it's trying to go through the node modules as well and load it. Okay, so looks like we didn't exclude it properly, but at the end the Webpack builds correctly. So we'll fix that shortly, but if we go to the browser, we should, we should still see the hello world example. Okay, so hello world is working, but we need to fix the excluding of the node modules. Let's go back to the Visual Studio Code, exclude, and we've got a string with node modules. And if we compare it to the guide from Bubble, we'll see exclude and the node modules is not inside of the quotes. Okay, so let's see if that will fix it. Remove the quotes and just keep it as a slash node modules and slash and quit the build, run again and we'll see if this loads much quicker. Yep, that's better. And if we go back to VS Code, we don't see the issue with loading the node modules anymore. Great. Now we have installed everything necessary and we can start diving into the React API and learning how React works. And that's it all for today. Now you know exactly how to set up your Webpack project to work with your React and you are ready to build up your React application from the ground up. Hope you learned something new. Don't forget to hit the like button. It just under the video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my future video. Bye.